Many of us have goals in school, in life, for business and finance, but when it comes to something as important and as critical as our own health, we are often sorely lacking in any sort of a plan. Jean Hogaboom is in this morning with the importance of having a fitness plan laid out. How often are you seeing that people just kind of, I mean, try and work out and, and yeah, do something? It is one of those things that they, they don't really have a, a clear idea of where they want to be. So it's very difficult to get there if you don't know where you're going. So I see people kind of just coming in and doing the same thing day in and day out. And uh, it's like if you keep doing what you've been doing, you'll keep getting what you've been getting. Right. So if you want to, if you want to get somewhere, figure out where you want to go. I was thinking about that on my, <laughs> my pokey little run this morning. Uh, goal setting, you exactly. say, is is the most important thing. So how do you know what's the best goal for you? This is one of the reasons. I, I don't know how any of you are out there, but if I don't pick a race to run every year, mm -hmm. I, I mean, I go for a very slow unmotivated run just to do something. But. Exactly. I, to have something to shoot for, to train for, uh, that you can get excited about, that is a big ticket to, to getting your fitness all up. So would know. you say find, like, find an event, find a, a weight, find, find a, an like, event, yeah. If you, want, if you weigh 150, you want to be 130. If you want to, if you have 20% body fat, you want 15%. Find something that is going to keep you motivated, keep you determined. Uh, it's kind of like going on a trip. You have a place that you want to go. And along the way, you need to have a good schedule of how you're going to get there, of your training days yeah, and so forth. Yeah, and that's forth. probably the best time, I would think, to find a trainer or someone that could help you define that. Okay. Definitely. Realistic goals, that's one of the big things. Scheduling. Yeah, exactly. So you know where you want to go, figure out how you're going to get there. Each day is scheduled out, each week, each month, and so forth. Uh, each workout is, is uh, defined as a step towards your goal. So important. Very important. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, nutrition is one I think that is yeah. often overlooked. Yeah. I know we talk about it a lot here on all of our shows. Mm -hmm. How big of a role does what you eat or drink factor into your ability to reach? Well, it's, it's one of those things that uh, if you go in and work out so hard in the gym and you go home and eat Twinkies all day long, <laughs> you're just not gonna, you're not gonna reach your goal. So it's when you have a good combination of that schedule of your workouts and good nutrition that feeds those workouts. It's kind of like, again, going on a trip, you have your meals planned as you're going along. Yeah. You know you're going to stop or you take things with you. A lot of people bring something to the gym to have after the workout. So I know we're seeing plan ahead. Uh, many more um, niche gyms that actually have kitchens in them and provide right. nutrition counseling. Right. So if that's really an area where you struggle, look for that too. And then finish mm -hmm. line. Exactly. Um, everything that you're doing now is leading towards that final goal, whether it's a 10K, whether it's an Ironman, whether it's losing that 20 pounds or 5% body fat. Um, the, uh, the satisfaction of reaching that is, is so hard to explain. Feels good. You know, it feels great. And then you need another plan <laughs> to stay there. <laughs> yeah, Gene, thanks so much exactly. for coming in this morning. Great Thank reminder you. for a mm -hmm. lot of folks as they probably are kind of just muddling through and doing right, what they right. can. Driving in circles. Time's a big factor. <laughs> All right, still ahead at 11.